guys, Mr. Tease the Boss here, and in this video I want to actually talk about a new phone that I've acquired. Now this is the Vivo X-Shot, and it is my favourite phone of the year, and I'm definitely not upgrading this year because this is the absolute best phone I've ever used. And there's quite a few reasons for this, now this is probably a company you've not heard of, but this thing has a couple of differentiating factors that just no other phone can offer. So I'll go through them one by one, and then just talk about why I like this phone so much. So to start with, it is seriously fast, I mean this is the fastest Android experience I've ever had. Everything is super snippy and I haven't experienced one bit of lag while using it. It is really something to look at. And this is coming from the LG G3 which is also supposed to be a very fast phone. This definitely feels faster. Now in terms of software, they've actually included their own personal skin, and this is called FunTouch 2.0. Now, it's not exactly the most feature-packed software experience, but it does actually offer a pleasing to the eye, fun to use, and fast interface. There is a swipe up menu from the bottom, very similar to the iPhone, where you can multitask and choose quick settings and adjust brightness, so that's all very, very handy, and it just works. Everything just works. Now, although this device is actually running Android 4.3, there is nothing that I've wanted to do that I haven't been able to, so, you know, I've been able to achieve the look I want, I've been having zero bugs glitches, and every single app works, which is more than I can say for most devices. Now the Vivo X-Shot, as sort of evidenced by its name, is a phone with an emphasis on the camera. Now this is a 13 megapixel shooter with an f1.8 aperture lens. Now this is the largest lens I've ever seen on a mobile device. This means it can capture huge amounts of light for a phone, rivaling almost even high-end digital cameras. So, you know, even in supposed dark environments where other phones are really lagging, this thing just shoots as you would expect it to, and you see it basically as you see it, if you know what I mean. Both the autofocus and the shutter speed are kind of amazing. Now Vivo also pride themselves in their audio chips, and this is a hi-fi audio device, which means that it can actually power some seriously high-end earphones, unlike other phones, and also the speakers sound brilliant. They are nearly as good as the M8s and better than every other phone. Now another thing you probably notice is that it doesn't have on-screen buttons. These are touch, but capacitive buttons which are off the screen. Now honestly, I actually quite like this. Although they're not quite as versatile as on-screen buttons, it does actually free up space on the display, which means you actually have more room to look at what you want to. On top of that, it actually has a menu button rather than the typical multitask button, but as multitasking is handled by the home button, I just think this adds extra functionality. Now the phone looks and feels amazing. So the back is glossy, but the phone is provided with a matte finish case which also protects the camera. Now there's a metal rim running around the edge which just feels amazing, and the buttons are really high quality. Speaking of buttons, we also have a dedicated camera button which means that you can actually, when in the camera app, you can actually activate it very quickly and also make it feel more like using a digital camera. So we've also got the charging port which is micro USB, so no surprises there. And we have an iPhone style ejectable SIM tray. And surprisingly, this does also accept micro SD card up to 128 gigs. And that goes in the same slot as the SIM card, which is a micro SIM. You'll notice also that we have dual flash here, which helps to equalize skin tones and not overexpose things. So yeah, that's really, really nice. And I have to say every single thing about this phone I love. I really, really like this phone. And I'm surprised that it's just not out there. So yeah, if you're looking for a phone in 2015, this is my recommendation. Thanks for watching guys, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.